Þurfti þörð skræða, urður verðandi skuld, örlög karma. Karman is action, act. Freyju getur norrann menning, ga hana karman og gati. In the bakvar gita, the ways of actions are unfathomable. Ga hana dense, thick, impenetrable, hard to be understood and more search. Karman og gati, sem borda skata in Icelandic, yet in English. Actions trangbilt in a raveldja. We cannot calculate their ways, but where than they can. It is not the case that some good angry whimsical tool called Monogod would be meddling up with actions on earth. It is definitely not a god if it does. The gods do not, as one law of nature, law of karma, has this special job. Ways of gods are fathomable. We hear Jesus tell us that we saw and we reap accordingly. Grota Sungur, Sotoma, Gomorra are about accumulated imbalance in nature. St. Peter, the big sin register, the key to the golden gate, is simply a new version of the process of urður verðandi skuld. Personifications are a trap. Verðandi, a book, we write, urður, Simon, called Peter, looks up, skuld, voila. If man does not understand his innermost divine nature, does not live it, he is not plucked in to himself, the real himself, his self. The three guna of nature, thursa meir þrýr, and the gungnir is all there is for that man. If we live in gungnir and the three guna exclusively, we get caught up in the uncertainty, the oversupply and our own karma trouble. No whimsical god ever to blame or thank. We then are tossed about in the vicious cycle of actions performed, the incentive thereof, the seed of memory, the one that becomes the spur for the next idea leading to, next action being performed etc. the unseen process. The cycle has unseen effects. We are not free from the bonds of action, supply of gimmiskull, sees Greida for. The unplugged man does not find himself, does not pay a visit to himself in Ausgarður, in Glaðheimar of consciousness, does not accept the hospitality of Gunnlöf, has not tried our wormholes, does not understand the physics he learned. He is in the untrustworthy hands of Thursa Meir III. He sees only nature, he might talk to a whimsical phenomenon which he claims to be ruling his life. Not Nista, not grounded in reality. We know that Verdante might take her time, when our skuld hits us, further might be forgotten. The concept time is, I admit, is rather a dimension. Time is our fabrication. Verdante has her own time schedule, so we do not even try to cope with her. It is possible by a yagnia performed from a deep swear of Tivatun to soothe Verdante a bit before she takes action. The swear within Thursameir and Ungnir is more powerful than actions of men. Note, buying an absolution from a churchian intermediary does not change your Verdante. Now we own the technique to nisa neither visit ourselves every now and then. No excuse any longer not to have control over our lives. Live like a man should do. Nothing less than all under control is appropriate for man. To err is not human. Anything less than perfection is unworthy of man. Does any king try to get a job in some sewage drain cleaning? Would I be used for dishwashing if I were a king? Would I be thrown up and down in the little joys and their sisters, the sorrows, if I were an einherji in Valhut? No. Dvitiat vai bahiam bavati. The duality of the created world is always the cause of fear. We need not live in the fear and uncertainty. Really not appropriate for a man to live in fear. Neither to have stress and imbalance in him. Stress is the cause of disasters. Stress reactions can be from a thousand years old habit, believe me. For example, when we didn't have food, hunger caused anxiety and uncertainty. Our body learned to accumulate fat inside fat reserves. A learned reaction. Still today, stress can result in overweight. Stress fuels the old precautions. They were lifesavers if hunger was imminent. Then, good reaction to fear and worries. You don't believe me, do you? But this is true. Very, very old memory. This is to show how unfathomable the cause of action is. Verdante never fails in her calculations, registered, as she is a millions of years old law. Only the natural law, Urður Verdante Skuld, has all our actions fathomable. A stout lady, too fat, might look relaxed and stress-free, but would we tell her that she had no food some thousand years ago? So therefore she accumulates belly fat now. I can imagine her look. Now she might need to learn how to knees us neither daily, and her body would bounce back to perfect balance. We need no longer the fight-or-flee response. 
but yet we produce that adrenaline when we get startled. It doesn't get sieved out, as we neither flee nor fight, we sit on the bottom. That which used to save our life is now fatal for our health, accumulates as stress. Forgotten! There is no subconsciousness, only verdandi. Everything is now, yet memory and verdandi tend to be a bit unfathomable for us. All is known that thunder arrangement is timeless. Í ár daga thunder um rist fyrir þjóða rök. All follows the great plan, thund can be calculated. Man's free will is counted for, so we have that special natural law for that ravel jam. Earther of man is in the hands of verdandi. We create our future by every hour earther. Every hour earther should be perfect thought, words, action. Our purity is a critical issue for our world. We act according to our purity. We as Loki, Loki mankind, have qualities. The trinity burns of Loki, Fenrir, Hel and Jörmungandr, the noble one. We have a choice. Man always has a choice. That is our free Urður. Every choice brings responsibility. The quality of Urður creates fame and glory. We have full control over our Urður, but the fruit of action is not as given. The Gungnir from Urður will bounce into other Gungnir, <laughs> unfathomable tennis. Take care of one vital thing. We shall live our own life, not that of others. Svadharma, not Paradharma, as that brings danger to our evolution. We shall live our own profound and beautiful seder, not imported alien systems. Svadharma, not Paradharma. This Urður, our culture lived, gives us a good skuld. Fortni Seder teaches, as does Jesus, that the only necessary is to live Glathemat. Each individual does that himself. We ourselves learn how to nisa sneder. In this way we sail gloriously through all our unfathomable skuld. I am Ginongagap. Ahem, Brahmasmi. Truth is one, the wise call it by many names. Our roots are in truth, of which mangivate, no one knows, the profound origin. No beastly urdur is appropriate for the man trees. Man trees need to be nurtured from urdar brunner. We are divine by nature. Nothing less than living the thunder flow is worthy. Never violate nature. Urdur of man is our free choice. Are we divinely pure enough to act from our nature? Do we yet spot the responsibility? Or do we still need some evolving? Lítilla santa, lítilla saiva, lítil geð guma. Small are men of little deeds. Those men who do not find the roots and the wells know not how to imbibe the greatest truth into their lives. We have received gifts from our gods, Óður, Hænir, Lóður. We need presents from the wise men too. Truth. They come from the East, as did our culture originally, or so we claim. Now we accept presents from the wise Maharishi from the East, refreshing us. The roots of our culture are said to be there, our conception needs some refreshing. Did you know that names of places in Bharata indicate Aisir as men to have lived in a certain area? Concepts, names and the basis of Fornisidur all seems to correlate in this theory. Heyam dukaham anagatham is to soothe Verdant before our skuld hits us. The wise pundits who know how to do Yagnya know what thunder rest i our daga. They calculate Urður Verdandi skuld, the simple and plain natural law which deals with the unfathomable course of action. They know Nýju Galdrar Góðir and Ljóðin and that can affect Gungnir in a systematic way. Many a man has a skuld not yet come, of whom he has no notion, as Verdandi never utters any alarm. Now we shall be careful with all our free Urður. Do you know? He who partakes in negativity defames another man, takes on to him the sins of the man of whom he speaks ill, takes on himself the bad skuld of another, lives an inauspicious paradharma. He who benefits from another man's sins partakes in the sin by eating what has been killed, or uses it in another way for benefits, is partaking, is taking on himself a part of the sin of killing. Jón Ur Vör says, I did not shoot. But I ate, I ate the beauty of the mountains. Support of nature. From the TM book, how to enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs> Some have a good skuld. Lucky man, we say. A bit jealous, perhaps. TM practice is actually called science of luck. Really, <laughs> we connect to the flawless flow. 
Some have already heightened their state of consciousness to the extent that nature cares for all their needs, nature works for Einherjar. They take their skuld lightly. Skuld comes, but is now seen as unfathomable, all-worldly action cycle only. Lucky men, we say. Nature seems to support their actions. The stuff out there catches the attention of our senses. Their senses are only dutifully doing their allotted job. Mind, by its nature, gets attracted to happiness. No two perhaps the same. We try to do right, be righteous. We are so good-natured. We should know that actions have effect. Even thoughts have. We also should realize that actions lead to skuld. Good actions yield a good skuld. But actions, even pure actions, do not lead to enlightenment by themselves. All actions which are not nourished from consciousness are stuck in the rut of verdante. Good gungir or bad makes a difference, of course, when it comes to skuld. But the only actions leading surely to valhut are the delightful human job of heightening our states of consciousness. Actions on the superficial sphere of thought do not easily lead to enlightenment. Sattvic actions, sattva guna actions, should be enjoyed. We should skip the negative and deteriorating ones. Thjóðvitnir claims the devil to be easily upset and annoyed and having no sense of humor. In heathenry that devil does not exist. That invention was important by a theocracy used as a threat, but utterly failed here up north. We have folklore which indicate how the devil was not taking seriously only mocked. The wise magicians and wise women could always beat him in any competition. Have you ever got the notion that bullying is a bad thing? That only a bad boy or a bad girl teases and mocks other parents? Have you ever thought of it in the way that such a base urdur yields a bad skuld? Have you ever thought of it in the way that the sufferer is getting his skuld? Why do burns that seem to be so innocent deserve inauspicious childhood? Punishments and death sentences only make things worse. Instead of sitting on the lid, we should lower the fire under the pot. There are CPE schools, no bullying. Simply calm the burns down and nourish them. If someone dies in an accident, he might be getting his skuld. We only contemplate the immediate circumstances that cause the accident. We do not know where our verdande is or what she is up to. We have forgotten our urdur. Yet we say, enginn má sköpun renna. No one can run away from his örlög, his self-made fate. Seen from the windows of Valhöll, skuld is natural, only a law of nature. Einherjar make no fuss about such a natural issue as any gungnir created, any action performed, by a law of nature returns to its origin, to the man who created it, whenever that was. The perfect orderliness prevails by Tívar. Tívar are everywhere, in everything. All the perfection that thunder rest i our daga is known. Man should not fight anything or anyone that comes into his life. Do not try to deny that which comes. By that we would be denying ourselves, as it's happening we encounter is our own doing. This goes for each one of us. Now returning to its due owner, its very creator. Engin mos sköpun renna, we say. True, as all is a part of the perfect whole. By denying our own sköpun, creation, what we ourselves made by thoughts, words, actions, whenever that was, we met up with the grand planning, the whole, which is under the unfailing and flawless control of the administering laws of nature. They are invincible and perfect. Eternity, which all is, is indisputably the all-powerful and all-perfection. The laws of nature need nothing from outside to their sustenance and performance. So will it be till Ragnarök, for sure, urður verðandi and skuld say. Each incident which disturbs the flow of thund results in suffering as a natural reaction. Each incident which supports thund returns as fair winds in life as happiness. All in exactly the same proportions as instigated, as this initiates the normal procedure of reaction equal to action. Cowardly it is said to be to flee our creation, our skuld, indicates lack of understanding, not necessarily cowardice, faint-heartedness. Not to look fate in the eyes makes suffering, even worse than was due. There is a foolproof way to let all that action-riddled stuff, verdante, that might be on her way, have no influence on us whatsoever. Easy, simple, and delightful can't be obtained by any man. To fly free in the sky of consciousness, as Huyen and Munin, 
become a perfectly pure energy who knows that nothing can burn Ginnungagap, no weapons can cleave it, water cannot wet it, and know that we are it. Why would it be possible to soothe skuld by Ayadnya? Because Urdur Verdandi skuld see actions as gungnir, as are all other worldly things, making use of a certain gungnir which pundits know, an inauspicious Verdandi means vibrations that cancel her out, tone her down. Heyam dukham anakatam, a word to danger that has not yet come, sooth verdandi by another gungnir, in edavellir, where greater power than in the worldly abides. When better understanding has been gained by men, we shall start seeing the whole sequence and context. When we become einherjar, we will see. We can use utlur, the fire of knowledge, perform utlar hitli, the easy advice, nisa neither regularly. The results will be a fortunate boat that sails all waves of air easily. The raft of knowledge will surpass the high seas of actions in the world. Many together doing TM City program and yogic flying create the Maharaja effect well known by science. One man doing his TM program does all good for himself, makes his physiology healthy and his mind pure. The group will have great effects in the surroundings and in the whole world. There is only one consciousness, Ekam Sat, truth is one, we are it. The wise call truth by many names, Ekam, one, Sat, truth, Vipra, different, Bahuda, the wise who are awake within, Vadanti, they name it, they call it, Ekam Sat, Vipra, Bahuda, Vadanti. The cycles are in the created world. We should know that cycles tend to go in cycles, repeat themselves. They affect one the other, and they, evolving, are meant for evolution. We decide whether we are stuck in a circle or if we use cycles to move forward. We know that day and night occur as Mother Earth revolves, taking us with her on her surface, revolving on her Mundilfari axis, mandala. From us seen, then the sun rises and sets. All cycles can as easily be explained for us. Nothing in the world cannot be explained. I mean, everything in the world can be. Even the course of action, seemingly, as we see it, unfathomable, but as a distinct law of nature, it can be explained, the law of karma. Urdur, Verdant, Skuld, always all three together, are one law, and they know. St. Peter's sin register looks like this, explained. In the universe, we have a lot of this and that and different phenomena, which inflict one in another. Some of it is of importance for us, men on earth, we don't try to know it all, simply say, unfathomable is the course of action. Let's trust Urdur Verdandi Skuld. This is their job. They are a law, so they know what they are doing. Even if our universe is, as Freya sees it, a little amusing bubble, one of countless coming up by the bubbling space-time form, we make a great fuss about these actions and that unfathomable fate issue. We are able to learn that wrong actions violate the perfect flow, that sinful actions hit us back as suffering, no gods with make örlög, no örlaga dísir, nons of fate, make örlög for men, no monogod with god decides the fate of men, man alone makes his örlög, fate, responsible for his actions, thoughts, longing, his free will. We decide our life, this means, no gods with revenge, nor show wrath, no god with revenges or gets angry. No God's good reward. The Lord gave and the Lord took back only means. Gifts of nature are in this well-known duality of the world. So the little worldly happinesses end in a loss. Sorry. The unfathomable race of actions which Verdante alone fathoms. When we get to know the happiness of Gladheimar, our actions spontaneously become purely evolutionary. So our returning skuld from nature will be accordingly, as we have sworn. Our former Urdur will always return. Course of action is worldly. No will of any god, only Gungnir in the world of men. Nature has all the orderliness inherent in Kinungagap, the divine order. Urdur varandi skuld are a law, so divine in that sense. But laws of nature function in the world. Our little unfathomable ways of actions obey a law. We should take that as it comes. Every man is responsible for himself and his evolution, responsible for his family and all the rest. Note, family in Icelandic is fjölskylda. Skylda is duty. 
same stem as skuld, death, man holds responsibility for nature and all alive on earth. We are one family, fjölskylda, vashudahiva, kutumpakam. All of us are the great svinnur, intelligence. Without it, nothing can be. If not neutered from svinnur, actions become weak and wrong. Miðmar are a necessity. They are returning a gift equally valuable. Gjöf náttúrunar skal gjalda ef við náttu hennar á að halda. Gifts from nature shall be repaid if we want her as a friend. There are auspicious and inauspicious times for performance of actions. Different powers in the solar system affect. This can be calculated. Geta a muhurta. The Vedic calendar is not man-made. It is made by natural law. It tells us on which day a specific law of nature is more wide awake than usual, can be approached with more benefits for our lives, nourish the laws of nature. Man creates future. Future does not create us, not shape us. Good deeds of men create a good future. Men who practice their soul return nature's gifts by performing their Valkyria. Fordna bring themselves. Gefa sjálfum sér sjálfan sig given to Óðinn. Create a good future for their land, their nation, the whole world. Mild verðandi will appreciate that and knows what to bring. Those who do not pay back to nature by transcending accumulate imbalance in her. Gjöf skal gjalda. And we do that by sown, sown, transcending to pure consciousness. We so imbibe orderliness, which is round, rögn, reyn, into our nature. We should never be a false note in the beautiful symphony of Emir, sound. Fordnum bring our beloved thoughts to the pure Ginnunga cup, our awareness expands to infinity. Ways of actions will be correct and just. To perform a Valkyria is the best Urdur, who in turn brings the best skuld. The only action that doesn't bind man is the act of transcending. Remember that our future is in our hands. We own wormholes in the space-time form. Let's find them. Our best skuld will come from that. Know how easy it is. We are without the three guna, there's some air three. Here in Gladimar, in Ayr, there exists no troubles, only the infinite powerful order and serenity. Skuld comes duly. Don't let that upset you. Now you understand and have a remedy. All is known, all is under control, all is evolutionary by nature. All seeks perfection. When we see the whole picture, little things stop irritating us. The only purpose and goal is perfection, evolving to perfection. Seder means perfection, or I give to myself. Perfected when we live heaven on earth, which we create ourselves. We rise, resurrect from sin and filth to purity. From a siddha, a denying prefix, to siddhi, perfected. Asato, ma satkamye. Tamaso majotir gamya, mritior ma amritam gamya. I am led from untruth to truth, out of darkness to light, from death mrit mara from den Icelandic sin mara, to eternal life amritam. Urdur verðandi skuld overlive our stay with hell, wait for us, seed of memory from former urdur. We so choose parents and time. Remember fjölskylda, family, our skuld. This is not meaner memory, but verðandi from former urður. Millions of stays in Helia. Our little flickering universe is very small compared to Ginnungagap, who we are. All universes will face their Ragnarök. We can work from Tivatun. Here we have the power of Tivar found in us. Then life becomes in flow with the laws of nature, their order takes care of men. Urður verðandi skuld are one law. Functions so perfectly in the world of men. When we have become einherjar, we still get our skuld, only she does not disturb us as much. Mark in stone, in water, in air. Skuld coming to einherjar has effects as if we mark in air with a finger. So it is a state of consciousness that makes all the difference, not skuld herself. What a boon to have become a pure man. Matthias Vidar Eggertsson, Gunnar Gunnarsson Skald, wrote in a marvelous way. The man who is whole enough, determined and strong to accept his urlog, wherever they take him, welcome them even if they bring disaster or downfall, accept them even at the hour of death, that man will not be affected by anything evil. He passes the life, his urlog undamaged, through the gates to Helia. Runa Masalesbogar, copyright. As we know, 
it is futile to try to imprint some knowledge of life into parents. If what they see the grown-ups do is exactly the contrary to the rules, one thing is told, what is done is quite another. We might call it contradicting message. Parents get that all the time, the hidden message, turned in school as the invisible curriculum. Icelandic joke road sign called a priest, as he points out the narrow road but never goes himself. We did not come here to suffer, as some tell us. We came to gain the supreme joy. Parents should understand urdur varandi skuld. Nobody should suffer, not pretend to be indifferent, endure, hope, wait for, as we are in charge of our life, both grown-ups and parents, wise and all responsible. Kuathrun Dinwa, my teacher Maharshi, Indian physicist and enlightened man, points out to us where to find the knowledge and the understanding, and he teaches us the technique to transcend, knees and either. Best of thanks, Maharshi, my great teacher. Maharshi T asked for this research on our fourth Nisida to be undertaken. We now get to know why we are born, what the purpose and goal of man's its lifespan is. We now fathom the profound beauty of our spiritual heritage. Websites and online. Freyu Ketir Noran Menning, all books are available on Amazon. All small for parents, 40 skriður, the key to the allegory and symbolic language, we now gain the understanding of the heritage handed over from our forefathers. Available on Amazon and online. Knowledge cannot be given by anyone, we receive it from within where it is. The pupil finds the knowledge within himself. He is consciousness where all wisdom and knowledge abides. Nisir neither, near me the thimble runner. 